Hi, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my channel. I am a nationally certified personal trainer and nutrition specialist at fitstyle.com and I'm also a mom to a baby boy and I'm passionate about helping other moms streamline their organizational systems and make life a little bit easier. So today's video, I want to talk about a system that has made my life a lot easier and all of these systems that I'm about to share involve these baskets from Target. I have lost count of how many of these baskets I have. I have them in several different sizes. Uh, this is the large. They now make larger ones and then medium and small. I use them from everywhere from my laundry room, my room, my closet, my pantry, my cupboards, under sinks, my son's closet, um, as hampers, as laundry baskets. I mean, I use them everywhere. So it's great when you can find them on sale. I will link below other places that you can find them. Mine are from Target, but I've also seen them at stores like Home Goods or TJ Maxx and at home, uh, places like that. Even Aldi will carry them sometimes. So uh, I will link all that below. But the first project that I ever used these in were, we used them in our laundry room. So we have a shelf above the washer and dryer and then my husband built a couple more shelves. We measured it out to see how many baskets we would need and then added dry erase labels to the front and they fasten with pins. And I love that they're dry erase because as our needs change, we can always switch the label very quickly and easily. So we have a basket for cat stuff. We have one for beach towels, laundry, um, extra light bulbs. Um, Anything like that, it just really transformed our laundry room and really gave us a lot more storage. When I got pregnant, I knew I wanted to use that same kind of system in my son's room, especially because those dry erase labels would be so easy to change what size he was in and that kind of thing. And then I found Catherine's video from Do It On A Dime and her son's closet is a work of art. Uh, she introduced me to the Rubbermaid closet organizers that then we got and put in my son's closets. And then we ended up getting a whole bunch more baskets and, and really, really just doing the same kind of thing. Uh, so thumbs up if you wanna see it, but I am going to link Catherine's video below as well as Brittany Fessor's because she has a very similar system as well. And another, um, part that I just have to brag on Catherine about is that she introduced me to the no fold system, um, which is where you just have a basket and it maybe says like six month pajamas and you, you just throw them in, you don't fold them. They're clean, but they're just not folded. And, uh, <laughs> and it, you know, it just saves time. And I feel like that's something that only a veteran mom can tell you because your nesting mind when you're pregnant with your first one, you just, you envision folding everything all nicely and everything's put away like it's Pinterest and, um, and some utopia that <laughs> I don't live in. So uh, anyway, I love the no fold system and these baskets are so handy for that. You can just throw everything in. It just makes life that much easier. <laughs> So we have them in my son's room for his clothes, but we also have them for toys and books. And when he was really little in the newborn phase, these baskets were invaluable because we kept one in our room right next to his pack and play and we used it as a hamper. And then we also had the smaller ones that I would use as nursing baskets. So I kept one upstairs and downstairs. Eventually I just kind of took the same basket with me, but I would keep everything in those baskets that I needed while I was nursing. And I'm gonna talk about that more in an upcoming video. I'm gonna be doing a series on baby must-haves at different stages, as well as mama must-haves and nursing must-haves. So stay tuned for that. But they were really, really helpful during that phase. Um, we would keep them in the bathrooms as well. So that is another way that you can use these baskets. All the leftover baskets, we have used them in our closet as a dry cleaning hamper. So everything that needs to go to the dry cleaner goes in one of these. We've used them in kitchen cupboards. Uh, we have spices up on a magnet rack, but any leftover spices just go in one of the small baskets. You can just pull it out as needed. Uh, I keep a lot of his bottle stuff in these baskets in cupboards as well. And I would keep them out on the counter. Um, I don't keep a lot on my counters, but I did keep them during the newborn phase, uh, anything that I just needed to grab really quick, like whether it was a pacifier or um, medicine he was on or something like that, I would keep all that out as well. We store our yoga mats in these baskets in a closet. Uh, you could just 
roll them up, stick them in. They're tall enough that the mats don't topple over. I use them as laundry baskets. Once things have come out of the dryer, I throw them in here and it is surprising how much you can fit in these baskets. I can get a full load of laundry folded and put into one of these baskets and carry it upstairs with me. We also use these larger baskets as an upstairs downstairs basket. And this is a really important one for making your house more organized and just generally tidy is that if you have one of these downstairs, you can throw things in it throughout the day that need to go upstairs. Then on your next trip upstairs, you just take this with you and vice versa. So um, sometimes I even keep one up here as well. So that's the one to go downstairs and this one's downstairs to go upstairs. It really makes a big difference. Um, I felt like especially when my son was in the first few months of his life, that was so, so, so vital. Um, now I, I think it's a little less, I'm not making as many trips, but in the beginning I feel like I was. So the upstairs downstairs basket is great. They have baskets that are designated to be upstairs downstairs baskets that fit on your step. They have a little cutout so they fit right on the stairs. Um, those are great, those are really beautiful. I'll, I'll find some, I'll link them below. But uh, right now, if this, this is what works for us, that's totally fine. And because these baskets come in different sizes, we use one of the smaller ones under our kitchen sink as a hamper for dirty towels. So as I'm cleaning something up in the kitchen, I just throw it under the sink into this basket and then once it's full, I will wash that load. We hung everything from a tension rod from the Dollar Tree and we hang our cleaning supplies on it as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see how I organized under the sink as well as general kitchen organization tips. We also keep one of these large baskets on the floor in our master bathroom closet because we put everything extra in it. So if we have extra shampoo, extra deodorant, extra soap, it all goes in one of these baskets. And then whatever is in that basket, I have a list of that on my phone. So that way, if I'm in the store and I think, oh, I need more body wash, I can first check that list and say, no, you don't need body wash. You have it in your extra basket. So that is another really helpful thing that has kept us organized and saved us money because we're not buying things that we already have. So those are all of the ways that I use the baskets around my house. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Give a comment if you would like to see more videos about organization, if you have any requests, and if you're looking forward to the newborn series that will be coming up soon. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.